The next book we're going to read out of is called A Hundred Years of Lynchings. Alright, see that? This book here is a um, hundred years worth of um, like newspaper clippings of what they did to us. Uh, hangings, burnings, you name it. Whatever wickedness they did to the kill, uh, killing us. It's not this stuff that, that we live through. And we're going to read some stuff from there to see about mm. the same same people we uh, have in charge today. How they was. Once again, by their own pen. In history. So the first page we're going to go to is page 63. If you have the book or if you get it in the future. This is a, a news clipping from Vicksburg, Mississippi, February 8th, 1904. And the headline of it is, um, Lynch, Negro, and wife were first mutilated. So before the lynching, they mutilated. So let's see what our rulers, our oppressors, did to this couple. And it reads. An eyewitness to the lynching of Luther Hobart and his wife, Negroes, which took place in Doddsville yesterday, today gave the Evening Post the following details concerning retribution exacted from the couple prior to their cremation yesterday. When the two Negroes were captured, they were tied to trees, and while the funeral pyres were being prepared, they were forced to hold out their hands while one finger at a time was chopped off. The fingers were distributed as souvenirs. The ears of the murderers were cut off. Hobart was beaten severely. His skull was fractured and one of his eyes knocked out with a stick hung by a shred from the socket. Some of the mob used a large corkscrew to bore into the flesh of the man and woman. A corkscrew is like if you ever took the top off of a wine bottle, the cork, you screw it in there. And when you pull it out, the whole cork comes out. Okay, so listen. So this is what they, they used a huge corkscrew to screw into this man and wife. At this time, probably it was probably used to cork a barrel. That's what they was using as a cover because it swole up in liquids. So this corkscrew was probably being used in a barrel. And they was taking this corkscrew and putting it in one of our, in our brothers and sisters. Why are they lynching them? Why are they still alive with the eye poked out? Yep. Get this. It was applied to their arms, legs, and body and pulled out. The spirals tearing out big pieces of raw quivering flesh every time it was withdrawn. Now these are your friends that it was a long time ago. And that was only 116 years ago. So that's like a tenth of a day. Card with to the, the most high. Uh, next we're going to go to page 52 to 58. A nice little limpy uh, excerpt Happened right here in Wilmington, Delaware. 